and talk about some gentlemen that you already know. This is Tuju and that's Morade. The rallying call seems to be we will not resign, but the Jubilee Party has caved to pressure to hold party elections and inject fresh leadership into the embattled party. The party announced a revitalization plan where for the first time, it will elect its officials, a move construed as edging out the interim officials accused of weakening the party and orchestrating an exodus of members. Jubilee has suffered a streak of losses in recent by-elections, as Sam Ogina reports. A meeting at the Jubilee party headquarters is a move to try and salvage a sinking ship before it is too late. A meeting at Jubilee House to dissect the party's streak of losses and waning popularity more so in President Uhuru Kenyatta's central backyard result to effect changes at the party's leadership structure. A move construed as the beginning of the sunset days for Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju and Party Vice Chairperson David Murave. My friend, everybody here is interim, eh? including the party leader, deputy, everybody is interim. We are telling you now how we are going to organize this party so that you have bona fide officials all from the ground, he has told you, all the way up to the National Delegate Conference. And those who are willing to have some of these seats, they are free to come and so contest you, for them. You... Nobody's been ejected out of office. We are united. We have reviewed. They just concluded by elections. We have also looked at our long-term strategic plans. And that's why we have come up with a program to rejuvenate the party, to have the, pres the party presence felt. A section of MPs have been baying for the oust of the party secretary general and the vice chairperson. This as they pushed for election of substantive party officials to take charge of the party. I think the only challenge we have with Jubilee, it's because we have people who talk recklessly. We have people who give our party a bad name. Then when it comes to go looking for votes, you didn't see them on the ground. Jubilee party officials stand accused of weakening the party, overseeing a hemorrhage of party members and failing in strategy that has cost the party numerous by-elections. The president's party has lost various parliamentary and civic by-elections within central Kenya, exposing the president's loosening of grip of the region. We are happy to take the flag and responsibility where we have fallen short of the expectations. So we are here as a united team, prepared to support the president, prepared to support uh, the government, and prepared to rejuvenate the party in preparation for the next government. When it's a political problem, you're going to see politicians. If it's a technical problem, you're going to see the technical uh, people. If it's a bureaucratic problem, because we're also the ruling party, and we, we, we are also part of the people who are running this government. Smarting from its latest loss in Kiamba, traditionally a jubilee seat, the jubilee party said it will challenge the results and demand for a recount of the votes. But we think we gave it our best shot. Yes, yeah. And Thank we you. think we actually won. That is the message you're getting from this group. You know this election was rigged. You know it. We will be going to court to, to determine and to prove to Kenya that this election was rigged. The Jubilee Party decried what it termed as propaganda and falsehoods from fake accounts to create rifts, division, conflict and crisis within the ruling party. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.